Welcome, 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 welcome. Good night, good night, good night again. Let me see who is on. Identify yourself if you're on. Earlier we announced that we that we would have come on. Bop, 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 official Jamia as usual to the thing. What's up? <laughs> Okay, shine your light up it is. Like pure seed. I'm I'm gonna just be it and tidy, you know. It was intentional, guys. I have a little regimen that I do, which includes, you know, applying um my natural oils and all of that stuff to my face. So I'm gonna look like 16 forever. And she does, and I mean I am already looking like 18. <laughs> You know, so you can't look like 16, my girl. You want to hear them tell me I'm pedophile, pedophile, pedophile. Why? Why you look like 17, so? Yeah, but 18. 17 and 16. Okay. All right. I mean, let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm sharing this as we speak. I'm sharing it on my YouTube channel, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Period two. Point blank. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Lala in the building. Yes, Lala made it for the money talk. Yes. 2020 is the year, right? Where we cross over that financial home. Anybody have a financial home? That's been kind of causing you to stumble <laughs> all these times and, you know, blocking your progress. Yeah, we're going to cross over. That we're going to cross over. All right, let me go on the chat so that we can see what everybody has said. All right. So, guys, if you just join us, uh, go ahead and click the like button. We don't normally do this type of sit-down type of chat. It sort of feel weird because normally I would be busy in the mm -hmm. kitchen because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am a cookies. Yes, yes, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Let me see if we can bring the camera closer. I'll be closer again? Wait, no, me, me, Wait, why they me, start? The four, count the pores them and empty? No, they're not going to count the pores. Okay, guys, so we're not going to waste any time. We're glad to want to come and join us. And we really want you guys to, you know, get on board with this because it's something where I'm telling you, if it, Bubala, Bubala, good evening to you. Bubala. Good evening, Bubala. I like that name. I like that name. Mm. All right, so guys... You know, it's the start of the year, right? Albeit it's the fourth day of the year. And so, you know, I was I was scrolling in my Instagram when I saw um, a post by a friend of mine, right? And me just want to say, lady, lady, Nikki, Nikki D, big up yourself because I saw this on your post and I'm not claiming that it's me originated or nothing. Me just see it from the post and decide to say, wow, you know, and this young lady, I told her about it and within 10 not in 10 seconds, me or see a dollar tree, they make me go over there, <laughs> go get the prerequisites. And I was like, yeah, but me just did tell you about it. And then she started going on my wallet. And I, I was not going to call the police, but me realized that the money never really gone away. It just gone at the savings. So that's why I'm going to call the police. Because normally I would call the police. You understand? I mean. I'm an action person, guys. So once, it's something, once I heard it from him, it immediately made sense to me. It's like a light bulb just went off in my head and it, you know we had to start it because it's a, it's pretty much a challenge uh, and it starts from the beginning of the year we were already a day short so it was the second day of the of the year when we saw the post so you know it, it called for urgency. urgency so we were on the road and i'm like see a dollar tree let's go get what we need to get to get this thing going and he was like right now I'm like, yeah, we're going to wait till next week. And then it, was, be... it was urgency and an emergency. <laughs> yeah, so, I understand. 
<laughs> so guys, we decided to do it. But it's it's very important because a lot of times we do not um find ourselves in the position where we do what we need to do. We know what we need to do, but a lot of times we don't do what we need to do because, you know, we don't prioritize, number mm -hmm. one. Or, you know, we just procrastinate mm -hmm. or we're just oblivious, you know, and not, not very dedicated enough to, to achieving the goal. Sometimes if we don't even write down the goal, we don't even see it as achievable. But right. sometimes, you know, we need to write it down and then just attack it head on. Right. And, and so, guys, let's get into it. Come on, not have time for waste, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the plan. At the end of this exercise, um, which lasts just around three months, mm -hmm. you would have saved yourself in whatever currency you so choose to start the, the, the saving. You would have, so ch you would have saved yourself um, just over $10,000. That's the whole idea behind this, all right? And the whole idea behind this is also it's not a trick. Mm -hmm. It is not no gambling. It's no, not no nothing. No scheme. No, no it, nothing. It, it, it's something personal. It's it just involves nobody. It just involves discipline. Right. That's it. That's all it involves. Self discipline mm -hmm. and governing your own resources. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're if you're willing to go with that, say go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you guys are willing to go with this plan that we have undertaken as well, say go. Now, guys, may I be honest with you? No, I don't know how we are gonna do it. Trust me. I honestly don't know it, how we're going to do it. It's literally a day-by-day day thing. And it's only the fourth day. So, woohoo, right now. But, like, if we if we even look one month down the road, it, it's get, it gets very scary. Yeah, if me, if, me look, if me look weekend, if I look up to weekend, may I turn back. Clear yeah. M, good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Um, who else is that? Shakespeare, Shakespeare good evening to you. So, so guys, you guys just are coming in, and this is why we've been delaying, not because we want to draw the thing out, but we want to give everybody a chance to hear. So let's get into it. So the idea behind this is a savings hack that allows you to use your own money and save a hundred thousand, no, sorry, $10,000 $10, in, $10, to be exact. In, in three months. In a hundred days. That's it. 100 days, basically in three months. Right. You understand? You're going to save 10 grand. Now, I don't know about you, but me need it. And mm -hmm. if I were to just carry on day by day, bills and expenses and things like that, you would not see this thing. You wouldn't see the 10 grand. Even if you made it, you wouldn't see it. And so this is a perfect way in which we can trick ourselves to save this money and mm -hmm. see a lump sum by just being disciplined. So, and if you save the money, if you do get the money to save and you save the money, then it means that you won't have the chance to waste the money on something else. Because trust me, if you have the, the, the change in your purse or in your wallet and a need arise, you are going to spend the money. Oh, yeah. Right? So putting it aside out of the way is the Let me tell you the need where the arise make me spend the money. Food. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I'm spending it. I'd be like, mmm, that was so good. Mmm, $60 gone. Mmm, that tastes so nice. $70 gone. $91 gone. <laughs> wow. You did just that, didn't you? Shakespeare, Josh needs at least 5k out of the money. You know, Sir Joshua do that something about Shakespeare. Well, but please, Sir Joshua has two accounts, you know. Yeah. Joshua have two accounts. Uh -oh, Stop it, Joshua. Shakespeare always advocate for Joshua. <laughs> yeah, Shakespeare. And then Wade Ben to always have to win. Joshua, you think you can trick the crowd, right? <laughs> 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 but, but, but so be it. Even, even Tracy Ham, Tracy bless Ham. up to you, Tracy Ham. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy for joining us. You have to jump on this one, girl. But you know, say, you know, say, Tracy. She got to say, oh, No, but hold on. You know, say, Tracy not come on the live with the food but you come from the life about the money i'm money girl i'm money girl mm, that's, Tracy. that's not me yep Tracy. earl lewis big up yourself hey guys it's 1 p.m in england 1 a.m yeah in england what's good maybe you'll be better one than the last one thank same you same so thing much, to you earl you. all right so let's get into it now guys start right, guys. start the start the thing so, we don't want to dry other than the money that you're gonna save the only investment that you're going to have to make is three bucks and the three bucks is if you it don't depends. Have, yeah, if you don't already have your envelopes, then you would have to go to the dollar store. No, you, the, the dollar twenty-five cents. Oh sorry. The dollar twenty-five cents. Oh, so it's not three dollar then. It would be three dollars seventy-five <laughs> plus tax. 
Shakespeare say, my name is Benjamin Williams. I live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's just always a look out for Josh. All right. So three boxes of this will give you 100 envelopes. Each, each box has 40 envelopes. So you're going to buy 100 envelopes. Yeah. That's, that, so, yeah. yeah, wherever you can source yeah. the 100 envelopes, fine. And then <laughs> what you do based on the challenge is that you're going to write... Well, you have to shut the envelope. You're going to write on each envelope, starting with two dollars, increments of two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I don't know if you can see it, but the, see it because of the lighting, the number. So yes, the numbers are at the, yeah. the top. You so just take a is, pen. And then I have the amounts written on each envelope up in the corner there. So as right. I just say you start writing with um, writing two dollars. And then you keep you know, adding increments of two. So dollars. you go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, mm -hmm. all the way up to two hundred. Right. So the highest no, amount of money you, you're going to have is two hundred dollars. So at the end of the day, that's going to be the largest sum that you save on any given day. Any given day. Now the idea behind this hack is, for us. We considered it because you know you're supposed to start out by saying you put two dollars in the in the two dollar envelope, then you put four dollar in the four dollar envelope each day. And you do that chronologically. So it, the first right. of the month you put two dollars in that now, order. Now watch this now. What I did was because I know that for us, for, you know, as a family, the money not easy to come by like that. We're not and like we have the money put on our way for sale. So what I did was, um, it's 1 a.m. in the um, So what I did was, we shuffled our envelopes. Right. So they're no longer in order based on the numbers. We, so, yeah. So any given day when you're going, you know, and the first envelope you take up, for instance, this number is 46. So this number is 46. Today I'm putting in $46. Mm -hmm. Give me an envelope. Just give me a random envelope. The next day I come and I'm going to dip into my envelope and I'm going to get a random envelope. And that random envelope is $6. Mm -hmm. So for the next day, my savings will be $6. Right. And then the next day I go on and I get another random envelope. And whatever the figure on that envelope is, that's the figure that I am saving for that day. And you might wonder why we do it that way. Because starting off, it would have been very easy and smooth sailing. Oh, $2 today? Four dollars, eight dollars, ten dollars, that would have been mad easy. But then talk about the weeks when we get in the hundreds. Yeah. Now one day you're gonna be putting a hundred dollars, then the second day, 102, 104, 106. That's over five hundred dollars in one week that you're yeah, gonna have to that, save. That's gonna be rough. So if we shuffle them now, the hope is that from the beginning we're gonna be starting to save some of those big monies and then at the back end. Some right. of the smaller amounts will, will also... And so yeah. randomly, we would get a $70. Then the next day, we might get a $40. And then the other day, we'll get $200. Then the right. next day, we'll get a $185, $86. You know, so, and so it, it, it fluctuates. That way, we can budget or we, we pack it, can drop in or we can say, you know what, give me an $80 and me give you $100. And, you know, we try back and forth mm -hmm. so that we can put that money together. The idea behind this, ladies and gentlemen, is that at the end of three months, at the end of all this, this envelope that, the, you know, that once money is in all of this envelope mm -hmm. and you, you take a day in April, um, because three months from now, yeah. at whatever date you choose in April or whatever well, date you day end depends, yeah. in April, you do a grand week. release. You now, when you take out all your money and you're supposed to end up with $10,100. At the end of April, we're gonna think about it. Do you guys think it's a it's a good idea? Um, we actually jump on it, mm -hmm. and it's, again, see, um, Angela says this. Uh, um, our our Rella, Aurella mm -hmm. says the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you have the money to place in the envelope on any given day, and that's where the challenge really comes. The challenge comes in trying to get that money into the envelope on any given day. No. For some folks, like we spoke with a friend, a, a couple of friends of ours, and them say what they're going to do is because of how they receive their income, they are going to still do the envelope, but they're going to write down the, the increments. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the week, they can draw out money out of their bank account right. and just put that to get all together. So they might make for them deposits per week. Because they don't usually have cash. And that's a lot of, uh, that's the case for a lot of 
Americans or people in yeah. America, they don't use cat at all. Tracy says she have a friend who had done that and it worked for her. And and, and that's the whole idea. Work. It have to work. But, the only way it not work is if you don't have the money. You don't are you not money. dedicated? You don't earn the money to put it in the envelope. So guys, it, this is the challenge. This is the challenge. We are not here saying we can't find the money. See, God open up every day. We know we don't have the money. Tracy, anything but, else you will come to you and say, we need $132. <laughs> or, if we fill up the envelope, I will come to you and say, we need mortgage money. Get all that. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have a, Tracy, what we're going to do is we're going to put the money in the envelope and then we have to come to you for pay the mortgage. Right. All right. So, just, just work out your mortgage for the next three months, Tracy. That's all we're saying. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> but for real, though, I mean, we have to do something, guys. We have to do it's something. It's worth the effort. Yeah. I mean, even if you fail at it, it's worth the try. And we are, we're doing the ten thousand dollars our goal, but this it can apply to any goal. So if you wanted to do five thousand dollars, um, all you would do is you do one dollar, two dollars, yeah, for the hundred, yeah, or you could do it in fifty. Or months. you can extend it to twenty thousand dollars in six months. Right. You know, it's up to you how far you want to take this. But the mm -hmm. idea is. It is a, it's a way in which we can challenge ourselves. Yeah. And and I, what I love about this young lady is that she never gave me a chance to second guess the idea. Because I saw it and I showed it to her and the woman go buy envelope. And <laughs> right now, me need but me envelope Make money. Make sure your wallet is always um, accessible. As well. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm, that's it. I think I'm leaving. He, I, the first day he drew, because we, we do it in such a way that sometimes I said, just draw an envelope and he will draw. So I'm, I'm like, you know, draw from the middle, draw from the middle. But the stubborn person that he is, him decided to draw the one at the back and draw $167. He's like, ah, anyway, putting it back. I'm like, no, no, no. Guys, guys, she <laughs> licked me with a $167 the first day. I was like, oh, this is $2. I was like, Oh, that's a today one? No. Hallelujah. What today one already? This is too long. Oh, that's after tomorrow? No. <laughs> you already drew it, though. No, it's just an example. But, guys, I'm telling you, and one of the things, I know she's a dedicated person. Let me let me read what, what St. Kitt says. Do you have to put money in the envelope every day? Nova, yes. Nova, the idea behind it is that's, that's the okay, let me repeat again. We number the envelope with a dollar amount between two dollars to two hundred dollars in increments of two so you're multiplying by two mm -hmm. so it's two four six eight ten twelve and so forth and so on now each day you put you draw an envelope from your 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 envelope box so what you're gonna do you know is that you're gonna keep once you take an envelope out and put money in it you're gonna put it in another place mm -hmm. you know so the, the, the show me the box the box of, of, of empty envelopes are, is going to steadily be decreasing. The box of full envelopes is going to steadily be decreasing. No, the box the of empty. empty envelopes. These oh, are yeah, empty yeah, envelopes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So the box of empty envelopes with the number is going to be steadily decreasing while the box with money is going to be steadily increasing. So every day you have to put something in it. No. Well, to answer, oh. Go ahead. No, I was going to say to answer her question. Maybe it is a case like we explained before. Some people may have to tailor it to to what to suit paid. their pocket, so to suit their how them get money. Right. So if you know, so you get paid weekly. What you do is you still add up your envelopes Monday to Friday. Still dry to envelope. see how much money you need. To, you know whether yep, you yeah. want to use a chronological method or you want to do the, the method where you, we shuffle it up. If you do the chronological way, it's gonna be too boring. It's gonna be yeah, and predictable. And predictable, cause you you can't just judge hard it. Hard at the end, oh right? My God, it's gonna be hard. Because one end. week you have, to have to, you have to go from a hundred and a hundred dollars to um you have to go to you have to go hard in at the end of it. But suppose, for instance, you you draw five days and and it fluctuates sixty dollar one day, ten dollar the other day. You know, um, thirty-two dollar the next day. Mm -hmm. So that way, by the end of the week, you can say the first seven days, you can say, okay, for this week, I only need to put five hundred and seven dollar in at the envelope. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the other week, no, it, it fluctuates, it changes because you know, and so mm -hmm. as you get the money you're dedicated to it. Again, one of the difficulty about it is when you have to put that money in a lump sum in the envelope, it's much harder than if you were to put it. 
daily. daily. Yeah. So that's the whole the whole gist of it. You understand? Mm -hmm. When you, if you if you find yourself having to put one thousand two hundred dollar in another envelope, you're not doing it. <laughs> you're not doing it. Come hell or high water, you're gonna Why? keep. You're gonna fling that envelope away. <laughs> but if you put, you know, one thirty, one thirty two, one thirty six in daily increments, you might end up saying, "Wow." Mm -hmm. We save a thousand dollar this week. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, guys, that's the whole idea behind it. And um, I think it's doable. The truth is, there are people already doing it. Just as old Tracy says, there are people out there that are dedicating themselves and doing it. Mm -hmm. And it would be crazy good to end up at the end of three months with ten grand and say, "Whoa, mm -hmm. three months into the year, we save ten grand already." You can imagine if you go another three months. Remember, you know, 12 months in a year, you know. Right. So if you save 10 grand three months and you say, all right, I'm jumping back into this. You have to save the next 10 grand. By six months, you have 20 grand, 20,200. Mm -hmm. You know, so the idea is, again, we are, we are not saying everybody can do it. We are saying everybody must try. And if you know it not enough feasible, break it down. Go for $5,000 in three months. Because mm -hmm. if you go... Um, in, if you go one to a hundred, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's five grand. Yes. So the whole idea is, you know, push it out there and save it. Nobody now, at the end of the day, nobody now, you know, it, the likelihood of somebody dropping 10 grand in your hand is far-fetched. We know God is real and God can do anything and I'm trusting him. Right now, I'm tell God, send me 20 grand. <laughs> so I'm trust him for that. But maybe this is the, the way in which God is going to give that to me. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we, we do hope that everybody jump on this. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting to do with your ten grand, man? Um, first of all, I have a very ambitious goal of having Joshua complete college without having him borrow a dime. I don't know how feasible it's gonna be, but. Thank God, semester one gone and I'm still debt free. Next semester is starting in a couple of days. So, yeah, if we can happen to assist him. But, you know, maybe I think about, maybe I think about a ride. Oh, yeah, that too. That too. Two? But, yeah. oh, hold on. 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 After me, I think we're going to get the youth a party pan. But me, I want to drive why, from why home. I'm not sure I get everything outside the goals, though. But I understand. And now that you think about it, you know, I think I need a car. <laughs> Joshua, <laughs> take the train. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, though, guys, I mean, um, mm -hmm. you know, between now and the, and the, and the time to, to come, you might very well say to yourself, you know what, something comes up. And you can say, you know what, let's jump, let's dump this thing into this. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to have a little bit of leverage, especially in these times when this uncertainty is so strong, when we don't know where we're going or coming, we don't know what, you know, understand what I say? People losing them job and situations are getting so era. I'm, I'm not saying that we are, we are, we're praying that nobody loses their job or anything. And we're praying that everybody completes the task, yeah. but complete the task to purpose. You get what I'm saying? And if the task is not completed, at least you would have saved one extra money if you start and still not finish. Because right. everything that you put in there is yours. yours. And it, there's no risk of losing anything if you drop out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, if you like the video and you like the talk, please just drop a thumbs up. We'd love some more thumbs up, um, you know. And we appreciate you guys um, hanging out with us. And if we have more conversation of this nature... We might come on Mondays and do Money Mondays, you know. Next week we might talk about crypto. Who knows? Yeah, okay. Tracy, I think <laughs> you're rubbing out. We special guest who can come and talk about stocks, Tracy. I'm not calling the name, but she's Tracy. She can come on and talk stocks. <laughs> but for real though, guys, it, I mean, it's time that we consider a whole lot more than just the mundane and just the immediate things in front of us. Mm -hmm. It's more. It's time now that we consider more things than just to say, run to take a vacation. Because no people, no people are doing stuff like vacation in and all that, which is all good enough. You know, no problem with you doing your vacation, but it's not supposed to be at, a, at the sacrifice of something else who is important. Right. So if, for instance, you said in the next three months, Moanga, Africa, 
10 grand could a car we go Africa, you know. We could have <laughs> go take a trip, you know. We could go around the world in 80 days, you know. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? Well, I don't know all about that. But mm -hmm. the point I'm making is put some money out there towards something and see what happens. And, and the, the, talking about trip, if trip is your goal, that's fine. But imagine, like him say, going on your trip um, debt free. Because a lot of people go on trips with credit card. Oh, Lord. And by the time they finish travel, they come back with a $10,000 credit card bill. And yep. guess what? That $10,000 trip end up into a eighteen thousand dollar trip when the interest yep. done when making. interest funded reducing balance start beat them in them head trust me when you have a high mm -hmm. credit card balance even three thousand dollar credit card balance when you look the interest is hundred and something dollars yep. a month yeah every month it's ridiculous when you pay your 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 five hundred dollar upon that card they might they might take a hundred and thirty something dollar out of it you understand really? and, and broke your pocket you have you pay for your, you you take a ten day trip or a, or a even a five day trip come and know who can like work for ten days a five day trip, right? And you have pay feed for the rest of the year. You see mm -hmm. me? So that's important, you know. The other thing is again, tax time is coming around. It will be nice to know, say, bomb, you get a tax return and bank to pay a tax return. You did the, already save 10 grand. You understand? Talking mm -hmm. about a new car, upgrading your car, talking about fixing up your house. Right now, we want to put on a fence on the house. We want to do so much things on our little house. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's wise. To do this and it's risk free. That's the most important aspect of it. Unless you tell your family and friend and them come rob you. <laughs> you understand? But it's risk free and I think it's it's a do. It's a do. So the money manager <laughs> will be going into my wallet when I'm not looking and taking out what she needs. Because honestly, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I am not that disciplined. I wish I was. But I am not. And I will take draw an envelope and say 132 dollars <laughs> and slowly slide it. I'll be slowly sliding it back in and shuffling and looking for $33. And saying, hey baby, I did it for today. And all the big money them slide back in there. So I give her leeway to just make it happen. And we see how best we can make it done. I'll try my best to do it. Let me see. I'll try my best to do it. So I'm challenging, but I'll try. Nova, I think you're going to make it. And at the end of it all, we are all going to come on the live and talk our, our, our success story. We're going to share our success story, all right? I'm going to make sure I lodge the money in the bank before we share the success story because <laughs> I don't want nobody to come rob me. <laughs> Tracy, I don't want nobody to come rob me. <laughs> You know, but guys, it's just that's our that's our little talk for tonight, and um, we definitely love this little vibes. We love the little live, and we we have topics that we can talk about. We have, you know, health not health, but just things that we can talk about as big people. Cause our life is not for picnic. Holistic topics. You know, our life are for What's big up? people, for help people, mature and thinkers. I am I am you know slightly over eighteen. <laughs> and you know so okay. get up the likes yeah thank you guys so much you have um some folks please throw the likes up and thing and thing and we already started we're four days in so we have 96 days to go and god is gonna make it happen as sure as night follow day april we'll be putting out our big announcement and our video gonna be how we saved 10k in three months. It's gonna be like catawampus. We're gonna have balloon. We're gonna have cake. <laughs> and KFC. By that time, we also have 100k subscribers. And then we have 100k subscribers. We have KFC. We'll make sure KFC there at Kentucky. At Kentucky, we do when we celebrate, right? Our Popeyes. Popeyes. We have Popeyes, Kentucky. We have fried chicken and chip. Oh, Tracy one vegan food. We have um veggie circles. <laughs> We're gonna have cabbage, kalalo, and pak chai. Okay. I notice some of the vegan people, them anytime it comes to vegan, them they really want to bring in the kalalo and the cabbage and them something they night, you know. They want to about kale. Yeah. And you know, them big cauliflower and them big big ambushment mm -hmm. vegetable. Mm -hmm. Kalalo is vegan. Let me just let y'all know. 
So once again, guys, thank you so much for joining us again. This was a quick, quick and easy live. Oh, are... And before you go, shout out to Aurelia, Tamar, Nicole. Happy New Year to you too. Big up, big up, Tamar. And Ola Uno, thank yeah, you so everybody. much for joining us. Yeah, and dropping, you know, a like. And Father, we just pray for every person right now under the sound of our voice, everybody on our live. That you will give them the the, the the wearability. Give the provide, Lord God, for them. That they will be able to reach to that goal, that mark, Father. Father, we know it's not easy. And nobody here not purport to be rich. We have not yet won the lot up. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord, we are praying that you would help every single person who decide to do this little challenge. Mm -hmm. To achieve their goal. And understand that whatever you give them, Lord, is for your purpose to be revealed in them. Bless their families, bless their children, bless their bosses at work, bless their jobs and their co-workers. Father, for the next three months, we pray that nothing will impede our, our, our hamper, our discourage, our, our do anything to hinder this little plan that each person on this life have to make that 10 grand, 100 by April. Mm. So Father, and we pray that when the 10 grand, 100 come, they will do something to show their respect and love for you in giving back. Probably give back something to somebody. If them see a madman from the street, buy my lunch. Something mm -hmm. to show. Because your word says, whatever it is that you do to these, the least of my brethren, that you do unto me. So let us be aware of that, Lord, that you're, you give us mercy every morning so that we can be filled with mercy so that we can be merciful to others. So, Lord, bless them and keep them in Jesus' name. That was our little blessing with 10,000. That are the 10,000 crew blessing. Mm -hmm. All right? And for everybody else who want to do it but can't do it, Lord, let them start with 500. Let them start with 1,000. Let them start with 5,000. Whatever them find, Lord, let them start. And you'll be surprised to see how they can finish. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hot hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Burn down. So Lala, I have a suggestion. She said you can also just do a sheet of paper and cut them up. Mm -hmm. And drop papers in a jar and grab from the jar and put all the money in one envelope. You understand? So as if what me wanted in a candy. Lala, listen, you have to go buy her a box of white out. Buy her a box of white out because she carrying back all of them envelopes. Yeah? <laughs> you Lala. know what right, the money? So you can stick on one of those Lala, listen. on the top. She have to carry all of them envelopes here. Now that you tell me so we can write it on paper, she going to have to bring back all of them. She going to get a white out and white out the numbers. So buy a $3 white out. No, dollar, dollar oh. 25 for the white out. <laughs> the point is, that is one of the day them worth of envelope there. So. so take back the money and put the envelope and put the, the, the something. I'm not doing that. Oh, I like to I like to interact with my envelopes. So thank you guys once again. It's been our pleasure to share with you all, and we do hope that you will join us again on an impromptu night Professor like this. Professor Ripface, good evening. Professor Ripface, good evening, sir. And 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 we talk about something else. You understand? And we're gonna just bring it to you, and hopefully <laughs> we get it done. Love on all. See you when we see you. And remember, live and laugh. See you. <laughs> live and laugh. See you and spend. That's what it takes. What does happen to what I have to do? All right. <laughs> Blessings to you all. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night.